Hey guys, Brandon here from Revolutions TV, and this is going to be my first After Effects tutorial. So basically what we're going to be learning how to do is create a fire reveal of text. Um, you could probably do this with anything really, but in text it's kind of common, you see it a lot. Um, so I kind of got this idea when I was watching TV, there was a commercial with it. So let me just go ahead and show you what this is. So as you can see, what it did, it like, the only when the fire appeared is when the text appeared. And it kind of just made it, it's just kind of unique, you know, just only when the fire is there, the text is there. Making it seem as if the text is part of the fire. So it's a pretty cool effect, as you can see from my, um, my comp, I only have three layers there. So it's pretty simple. So let's just get started. I'm going to create a new comp. And for this, I'm just going to leave it NTSC DV widescreen. I'm not going to go into, um... HD TV 1280720 and all that. I'm just going to leave it standard. I'm going to go ahead and name this Fire and just go ahead and click OK. So, what we're going to do first is create a new solid by go to um, Layer, New, Solid, or Control Y. And we're just going to name it BG and let's see, leave it all the same. And we're just going to make it black. Go ahead and click OK. Next, what we're going to do is go to the text tool up at the top and type out our text. I'm just going to type Fireman. So, you know, plain simple text. Click and drag it into the middle. And I already imported my fire. There's two websites I know that have really good um, stock footage. Um, one of them is Detonation Films. They are free um, elements that they have there. They have a lot. You know, some you do have to pay for. Then there's VideoCopilot.net. And they have a package called Action Essentials 2, which has pretty much everything you need to create um, action movies. Well, I purchased my ver my copy, and so this is what I'm going to be working with. I have imported my fire element, um, fire at cam 01. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and import that right there. So it's really um, it's a bigger size than what our comp is. So I'm going to zoom out and show you. This outer box is how big the full um, video file is. So I'm going to go ahead and right click it, transform. Fit to comp. I'm gonna go back over here and choose fit up to 100 so I can see my full comp view. So now that we got that, we're gonna make sure the fire is above our text layer, and we're gonna go into our fire and just scrub through it until we find a good spot with a lot of fire to make sure our text is getting covered by it all. So next, what we're gonna do is go to the fireman text layer, and if you don't see the track mat window, go ahead and click toggle switches, and then you'll see track mat. Go ahead and click that. You're gonna click luma mat fire at cam or whatever your fire layer is. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Go ahead and hit that. And next you'll see it gets a little desaturated but and you don't see the fire at all. We don't want that. We want the fire to be there. So what as you can see on our fire layer, the eyeball has been turned off for the visibility. We're going to go ahead and turn that back on and then we have fire again. And then as you can see our text is already being revealed, but it you can't really see the text all that well. So what we're going to go to do Let's go into our transfer modes and change the mode to add. You can also change it to screen. As you can see right away, we got a lighter um, text. Um, as So you can probably change it to screen to get another effect, but I like add. It kind of keeps it there. Um, so yeah, I'm going a little bit slow here. but So that's how you get that. And next, as you can see, it kind of looks just boring. You know, The text isn't really animated. It's just sitting there. So what we're going to do is go to effects and presets panel, and we're going to type in turbulent or just turb and it will come up with turbulent displace. You can also do a displacement map but I'm not going to get into that. It's a whole other tutorial. You can check out videocopilot.net if you want to learn more or Dylan P23 here on YouTube has a good tutorial on it. So I'm just going to use turbulent displace. So click it and drag it onto our text layer. Wait for that to open up and here we go. On the displace um, section we're going to click down this drop down menu and click bulge smoother. On the amount, we're going to set this to 25. Um, on the size, we're going to set this, uh, I just say we leave it alone. And for the evolution, we're going to alt-click on it, and we're going to type inside this expression menu, <clears throat> we're going to type time times 120, and then click off of it. And that will, well, instead of having to keyframe it, we'll, it'll just do it by itself, just some smooth animation. So close that up. And now we're going to add another effect. This isn't necessary, but you can do it if you want. This just kind of gives it a little bit more life. We're going to go to, let's actually click, we're going to have to select our layer, go to Effect, Stylize, and click Glow. Now here are some, we get some parameters we're going to mess with. So for the Glow Threshold, leave that. Glow Radius, we're going to set that to 112. And uh, we'll click away from that. 
and glow intensity we're going to set that to 4.9 click off of that we're going to leave all these the same and then glow colors we're going to set to A and B colors so for A for color A I already have this written down for the color code but it is 9B 2C 0, 0 and that's a really dark orange colorish and then for the next one for the black color B we're just going to click it and then just get one of these brighter oranges and there we have it and that's all you pretty much need to know how to do to create this text reveal effect so it's pretty simple and then if you want to then render it you just go up to um, trim it to where how long you want to be so let's just say I want it to see like right there after that we just want to stop we're just going to click and drag that and then we're going to go to comp composition at the top and click where is it it's add to render queue and then we can choose our settings we want so that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed this first After Effects tutorial let me know what you think um, request some stuff like I always say any um, any Adobe program anything else you know I pretty much have every program there is to really know how to do in graphics so thanks for watching guys comment rate and subscribe peace